Good morning. It's Thursday, April 20th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Joy No Words Can Tell. And our scripture is 1 Peter chapter 1, where the big fisherman writes, You love him even though you've not seen him. Though you do not see him now, you trust him, and you rejoice with a glorious, inexpressible joy. The reward for trusting him will be the salvation of your souls. This salvation was something even the prophets wanted to know more about when they prophesied about this gracious salvation prepared for you. They wondered what time or situation the Spirit of Christ within them was talking about when he told them in advance about Christ's suffering and his great glory afterward. They were told that their messages were not for themselves, but for you. And now this good news has been announced to you by those who preached in the power of the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. It is all so wonderful that even the angels are eagerly watching these things happen. There's much about life that's indescribable with just words. It's something like seeing something so funny, but when you try to retell the story, there's no way to recapture the moment with mere words. Have you ever used the phrase, well, you would have had to see it for yourself. I believe the kind of joy Apostle Peter was writing about is just that, unspeakable, full of God's glory. Today is our first grandchild's birthday. She's the upside down one in the picture taken when we got to have most of our grands in one place at one time. Her smile helps understand how you just can't explain extreme happiness. I was there when Chelsea was born. For many months, I was anxious, nervous, and wondering what it would be like to be a grandpa. It was like an extended version of Christmas Eve. You know it's going to be good, but you still haven't got a clue. Then it happens, and you know life will never be the same again. Peter wrote to believers who had never laid eyes on Jesus, yet the apostle knew of their love for the Savior and how they trusted their past, present, and eternity to the Lord's keeping and it brought them unbounded, unending joy. That's a lot of words nobody can understand unless they've been there. For you today, if you've trusted Christ with your life and invited him to be your Lord, all of today's devotion makes perfect sense. If you've not yet trusted Jesus, I could write a ton of books about it all and the rejoicing it brings your heart and you would still not truly see the joy your heart will know when you know him. It's something like watching someone else bite into a wonderfully fresh apple or a peach. All their words about how wonderful it tastes still leaves you wondering. Words are no substitute for personal experience. The psalmist said it best, Taste and see that the Lord is good. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.